Hi everyone, so my name is Mama Kairorisma and today I'm going to present about software design specification uh, for ATM or CDN. Uh, we are from a AHK Bank and our group consists of me, Mama Hazik Daniel, Noratika, Daniel Hazik and also Noraisha. So I'm going to uh, present about uh, introduction, their purpose, scope, uh, intended audience and also our product. So let's start with the introduction first. <coughs> okay, so ATM or known as the automated teller machine uh, and also the CDN cash deposit machine are to be developed for uh, AHK Bank. And ATM is a computerized telecommunication device that will allow the performance of financial transaction by the customer of financial institution without having the aid of branch representative or teller. Why the meaning of the CDN is a self-service terminal that enables the customer of a financial institution to make the fund transfer, cash deposit, and also payment transaction. So let's move on with the purpose. So basically our purpose of this is the SDS document is to provide the details elicited by the our company AHK Bank. So this document will bring and give you a better understanding of the design process for this system. And it will address the design implementation of ATM and also CDM. Okay. <clears throat> now for the scope, basically this document contains information about the system consideration, system architecture, low level design and also high level design. And the system also will make ease the user to perform the numerous transactions in her or his account without need of going to the bank counter. And then the system for the ATM takes and input the debit card and the PIN number of the debit card for a lot in purpose. Why the CDM takes an input of the debit card and the PIN number of the debit card for the lot in purpose or the account number of a recipient for fund transfer purpose. <coughs> okay, so uh, basically our system is expected to be completed within the seven months with the estimated cost of about 100,000. Okay, let's proceed with the intended audience. So basically we have uh, four of intend our intended audience, which is uh, the tester, the writers of the documentation, bank management, and also the developers of the new release, the software for the maintenance. And lastly, our product, as I told you, ATM and also CDM. And this system will offer the functionality about the cash withdrawal, fund transfer, cash deposit, balance inquiry, and other banking related operations for customer. Thank you. Now I will pass to Hazi Daniel. Hello, I am Hazik Daniel and I will discuss about the system considerations. The first consideration is about the characteristics of user of the system which involve two groups of people. The first one is operator and the second one is user. Operator refers to bank employees or anyone who involved in the maintenance of the ATM and CDM. We consider uh, for them to have the extensive knowledge on maintenance and also to have maintenance skills of ATM and CDM. For the user, it refers to general individual who uses ATM and CDM. Uh, the knowledge that they would need is basic uh, understanding of bank transactions such as cash withdrawals, fund transfer, cash deposit and balance inquiry. The next uh, system consideration is about the general constraints. The ATM and CDM system would need to run in Java supported environment. So this means that any external system such as the server uh, would need to be able to run in Java environment. The goals and guidelines for the ATM and uh, CDM consideration would be to provide services required by user from any other ATM and CDM and will also provide similar experience across any other CDMs offered by any banks. The reason why we, we want this is because we want the user of our ATM and CDM system to be able to feel similar experience when they want to perform bank transactions.
the development methods of the system would be in terms of object oriented analysis and design method this method involves uh, several process such as defining use case model uml uh, drawing and then developing class diagram and state chart and also system design and specifications for the system architecture for atm and cdm as you can see they uh, both have two level which is the upper level or the top level and the lower level the upper level involves with atm main and atm applet while the lower level have a startup that linked with ATM together with the session. ATM and session are connected to physical as it will receive information of when user initiate the bank transaction. And also, this session would be interconnected to transaction as it have information on transaction menu, cash withdrawal, and balance inquiry. The same also can be said for the CDM. For the subsystem architecture, uh, there are 8 components in ATM which is for the ATM will start up or shut down which is performed by the operator when switching it on or off. ATM will start new session initiated by the bank customer when they insert their bank card. ATM will provide access to subcomponents of system for the bank customer. ATM can also perform cash withdrawal and check-in balance inquiries. So for the card reader, it will inform ATM or CDM when a card is inserted. It will assess the data from the card. It will reject the card when the card is invalid. And it will keep the session within when having the card inside the system. For the cash dispenser, it will dispense cash. It will calculate the amount of cash dispense or deposit and to report the amount of cash available in the system. For the customer console, Customer console act as a medium of interaction with the user which is to display the interface and also prompting the user for input. For the operator panel, it is used to allow initial cash to be determined by the operator and also to notify ATM or CDM changes to switch state. For the receipt printer, it is used to print customer's receipt. For transaction menu, it is used to display option for financial transaction which is in this case the cash withdrawal and balance inquiries for cdm the components is almost similar with the atm uh, but the difference is the cdm itself which is started um, new session when the bank customers press customer console instead of inserting their bank card the transaction menu the, it will display the option for financial transaction, which is cash deposit and transfer instead of cash withdrawal and balance inquiry. For component diagram in cash deposit in CDM, the transaction was made directly to the CDM. The CDM is connected to the customer console, which is a medium of interaction to the user. So for the envelope acceptor, which will accept the cash, that is deposited by the user and once it has calculated the cash deposited it will print the receipt to the receipt printer for the customers and all of this transaction will be connected to lock component to store all of the account information for fund transfer in cdm the transaction was made directly through the cdm which was connected to the customer console that will interact with the user the customer console will activate the card reader once the customers has insert their own bank card. So once the fund transfer has been made, which is connected to the lock component that stores the account information, the receipt printer will print the receipt to the customer. So uh, for withdrawal, uh, when the session start, the customer will choose type of transaction. In this case, user choose withdrawal as transaction type to proceed with withdrawal. And then next, user will choose account to withdraw from. This will repeat as long as the account at type is invalid. User can also cancel if they want to cancel from this stage. And after getting account to withdraw from, uh, user choose the amount to withdraw. This will repeat as long as the input is invalid. User can also cancel from this stage. In this stage, user will check the 
balance in the system. If the balance is sufficient, the system will proceed to dispense the cash and print the receipt. If balance is insufficient, uh, the system asks whether to continue the session or not. User can just choose to continue to perform another uh, transaction where system proceed to choosing transaction. Session terminates and uh, cards are ejected. Next, uh, state diagram for cash deposit. Session started when customer click any button in the uh, on customer console. When the session start, the customer will choose type of transaction. In this case, uh, user choose cash deposit as transaction type to proceed with cash de uh, deposit. Next, user will choose to account to deposit to. This will repeat as long as the account type is invalid. User can cancel transaction from this stage. Uh, they can continue to do another transaction or any session. Uh, user uh, next they proceed with the uh, amount to withdraw. This will repeat as long as the amount is uh, invalid. They can also cancel from this stage and uh, they can eject the card. And then user will insist, uh, insert cash envelope. User can also cancel from this stage. And then the print, uh, the receipt will be printed. Um, the system will ask user if they want to perform another transaction. If this, uh, uh, the user don't want to perform another transaction, the card will be ejected and the session will be terminated. Next, uh, second diagram for ATM withdrawal. Okay, from withdrawal, uh, it will get specific message from the customer. And then, it will read uh, from customer console uh, which account to withdraw from. And then the customer control uh, will reply with the account number. And then it will also read the amount uh, number, uh, amount to withdraw. And then the customer console will reply with the amount to withdraw. And then uh, it will also check the uh, amount validity, whether it's sufficient or not. And then withdrawal will create message. If it's the status okay, it will complete the transaction. And then we dis dispense using the cash dispenser, and then uh, the receipt will be printed. Next, uh, sequence diagram for balance inquiry for ATM. So uh, first, it will get specific uh, from customer inquiry, balance inquiry, which is uh, the transaction option, and then it will uh, prompt from the customer uh, which account to inquire from. And then the uh, customer console will reply. Uh, and then it will uh, also read the account to transfer to. And then the customer console will reply. And then it will also read again the account to transfer to. And then the customer console will reply. And then the query will create message. And then message will be reply. If the status is OK, it will complete the transaction. And then the message will be uh, printed. As for the sequence diagram of the cash deposit functionality, uh, it is start from getting the information of the specific customer and then it will get the input from the customer about the account that it's going to be deposited into uh, and the amount also, the amount of the in the account. And then uh, it will create mes message as for the rec as for record and it will send to the class of message. And then uh, it will check whether the status is okay, and then it will change the receipt uh, variable to the written result of complete transaction. After all that, it will uh, open the envelope acceptor and will accept the money. And we'll calculate the total amount of money that is going to be deposited in, into the account. After that, it will send message and also the balance to the network to the network to bank uh, class in which it will uh, send message to the user about the total amount ha that has been inserted into their bank account and then it will print a receipt. Next is the sequence diagram of the fund transfer. So it has four class involved. It starts from the transfer class. Uh, the same thing, it will uh, get the uh, specific from customer and then uh, it will uh, 
input from uh, it will request input from the user uh, since it is fund transfer it needs to know where the funds come from and where it's going to be transferred to and then the amount of money that is going to be transferred it starts from the user the user data source will pass the pin the atm card the account number amount of cash transaction type to the very verification uh, verify account process and then after verifying the account all of that data will be passed for the process of obtaining transaction information after ob obtaining the transaction information in which uh, process that the user is going to do the transaction and then it will verify the transaction information through the account information inside the bank server and then the all the trans transaction inf information will trigger the transaction process which is complete the transaction then all of that will be if it is withdrawal it will pass the cash to the user pass the receipt and pass the card to the user back as for the last part of the presentation we go to the communication diagram so communication diagram is actually pretty much the same as sequence diagram but communication diagram format is different because it is intended to show the communication between classes uh, instead of the messages inside the communication so let's start with ATM withdrawal the withdrawal class will communicate with customer console class cash dispenser message and receipt it will communicate about these messages next is communication diagram for balance inquiry so there's only three classes that communicate with inquiry class which is customer console for inputs receipt for printing receipt and message for the record and information now let's go to cash deposit cdm communication diagrams deposit class communicate with five different other classes which is customer console envelope acceptor network to bank receipt and message stated here is the all of the message that has been explained in the sequence diagram and last but not least is the fund transfer uh, functionality in cdm so transfer communication diagram communicates only three other classes which is customer console receipt and message the customer console serves solely on inputs but since it's fund transfer it needs to input three different inputs and then after all that collected it will create the message and create the receipt